from BW1, and I'm going to give you my review of the Beats Executive headphones. And we're going to try to answer the $300 question is that are the Beats Executive worth the $300? First, let's take a kind of look at the design here. You can see they are definitely, you know, when they're saying executive, they're going more for a a little bit more of a, a, a sort of a sleek and more of a maybe a business maybe more conservative design with it as you know most beats headphones they sort of have that sort of black and uh, red sort of bold colors or you know all the other different bold colors that they have for most of their headphones this isn't really going in that direction this is more so going in the direction of sort of more something like i said a little more conservative you see with the all metal sort of a sort of make and feel of it on metal sort of headphones here with the soft cushions here and also the soft cushions here at the top and you can see the only thing that's red is really the cable that's on here everything else is pretty much sort of this sort of gray look that you can kind of see here with it it does have active noise cancellation just kind of turn it on and that's when you turn the headphones and the noise cancellation that's on it and that does work very very well i was using it on the uh, train and it basically blocked out majority of the trainers. I could only hear a little bit of the train as it was going through the tunnel, but I couldn't hear anybody or any other people saying anything at, at all on it. It does have a button like right here on the side, sort of press in to sort of turn it on and off. If you want to kind of hear somebody talking to you, you can hear it and it kind of shuts it off at that point. Now, as far as the headphones are concerned, they are a little bit on the heavy side of things. When you kind of put them on here, let's see if I got the right here. You kind of see how they look. They're a little bit on the bulky side, which I've never liked with Beats headphones, are kind of just kind of out there and you're almost a walking advertisement for them. But <laughs> you can see sort of how they look here on the side and sort of here you know, with the headphones, they're definitely kind of massive and they do feel a little bit on the weighted side as well too because of the uh, metal parts that are on here on it. But it's all about really the quality with the Beats headphones, which have always kind of been in question. Are these quality headphones? Well, let's play a little bit of music here. I know you're not going to be able to hear everything out of it, but at least you get a little bit of an idea of what the sound quality is. Play a little bit of music here for you. Obviously, you know, that's just listening through the microphone on here. You're not going to get the exact sound with it, but it's just a bit of a sample with it. It is good audio quality. It isn't what I would say something that's going to be worth the $300 price tag. Now, that's not saying that, that these are terrible. These are good headphones, and you are going to get some good audio quality with them. Listening to different genres, I always like to kind of go by genres rather than say high mids and lows. I said, I like to kind of differentiate out. I'm listening to some more rock music. It does work pretty well. It's it's not too over bass or anything like that. It, it, they balance the bass out pretty well with beats over the time. Instead of different beats on headphones that I've used, I felt here in the Beats Executive. The um, sort of with um, hip hop and techno or dance or house music type of music, which kind of has the same little sort of similar bass and stuff such with them. It does do a good job of kind of playing those out there and it does sound pretty well. It's not something that's going to kind of blow your mind away like you're expecting with $300. It doesn't have that sort of uh, studio sound with it that you're, that you're sort of looking for at, at, at this price range. So you want to hear each instrument that's being played and you know each you want to be able to detect different little things out of it you really can't get that with these with these headphones everybody's ears are different so you might be able to hear a little bit more different with it so just just letting you know there with that with me it doesn't really i can't really hear too much of the differences between i can't really i can't really hear sort of the uh specific you know sounds and stuff that you kind of look for when you're listening to music especially at a 300 dollars price tag with these headphones you really want to expect to hear that now they are a nice pair of headphones and the active shutter does work with them. All they were $300, I would, would lean on the side to say no. There are other headphones that are less than this that perform better, but might not have the active uh, noise cancellation, which is something might, might, a lot of people might want, which just does a very good job with the noise cancellation. But as I always said, Beats are always sort of a controversial uh, type of headphone. They're always uh, here or there. Either people really love them, people really hate them. The quality has always been sort of in a question, but the Beats Executives are good quality headphones, just not the $300 price tag. 
This is Bowman here from BW1.com. Reminding you, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page here. Also connect with us on Google Plus, Circle Us There. We're on Facebook, Twitter. We're pretty much on every other, every major social network, so definitely connect with us there. And on our main website at BW1.com. We have a pretty cool website, tons of content on there, stuff for video stuff, and also stuff uh, that we write specifically for the website as well too. So we'll definitely check a lot of that stuff out over there. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching.